a big announcement, big opportunity for engineers once again, especially for electronics and computer science guys. Yes, NTRO, that is the National Technical Research Organization has brought you two different types of posts and that too through a different examination without gate. Yes, a separate technical examination is going to be conducted. So what is the details of the examination? When is the examination? What could be the syllabus? And what is the number of posts branch wise? Everything we are going to discuss in this session. Stay tuned to the end of the session and do not forget to subscribe our channel to get all of these updates regularly. Now guys, there are two types of post and both of them are classified as general central civil service. Okay, now both of them, one of them is group A, another one is group B. So we have aviator 2, which is a gadgeted post and we have the technical assistant, which is under group D non gadgeted post. The aviator 2 is under the level 10 of the pay matrix and the technical assistant under the level Seven. Let's know more details about this. But Bing, it is a regular government, central government vacancy. You get all benefits that a government employee enjoys like the DNS allowance, HONs, transport allowance, children benefits, leave travel concession, etc, etc, etc that every pure central government employee will enjoy. Now coming to the very important point, what is the number of posts? For the Aviator 2, and we'll talk about eligibility also, for the Aviator 2, it is total of 22 Posts and for the technical assistant, it is total of 160 vacancies out of which 81 is for computer science and 79 is for electronics and communication engineering for technical uh, assistant. It's computer science and EC only. Now, let's talk about the detailed eligibility criteria. First of all, talking about the aviator 2. So if you look into the aviator 2, you need to be having a bachelor's degree BE or BTEC right in the field of electronics and communication applied electronics electrical electronics power electronics and etc including mechanical engineering is also coming up as an option here and you can also have a master's degree in electronics and communication again electronics power electronics related to the electronics you can go through it in detail the notification is available and i will also share you this notification in the, the detailed pdf in the telegram group but for this aviator 2 it is desirable not a compulsion but yeah it is desirable to have an ncc certificate of the air wing and also qualification in the field of aviation aero modeling or something related to the GIS. The age limit is, uh, you know, quite good here. You have an age limit up to the 35. And if you are a current government servant, you will be given a relaxation up to the five years. Okay, let's talk about the eligibility for the technical assistant. Number one, for computer science and information technology, for which you have the 81 post, you need to be a BE, BTEC in the fields related to the computer science, maybe direct computer science, IT or the specified branches given here. I'll share you this information in the telegram as well. Okay, or even the master's degree is applicable. If for electronics and communication, again, the BE or BTEC from uh, the branches uh, related uh, here like electronics and uh, instrumentation, electrical electronics and even the electronics and computer which is not usually very commonly found in the colleges, even master's degree will do here. But the age limit in this case in the technical assistant is going to be 30 years. Okay, again uh, relaxation of 5 years for the government servants. Okay, let us come to the next important point here that how the examination is and what is the date of filling up the form. So the online application, you have to fill the form online and the registration starts 31st of December and it is valid up to the 21st of January 2023 up to the 5 p.m. Up to the 5 p.m. Now, very important point for you. Form to sab log bhar denge. But what is the examination date? Tentatively, it is 5th of March. Yes, guys, which is the Sunday, 5th of March. That means one month more than the gate examination. You are going to write down the gate examination on 4th and 5th February based on CSN Electronics. Okay, so you have one more month for this particular examination to prepare for the written. It's a two-stage examination. First is written and second is stage two. That is the interview whose date will be announced later on. Okay, but it's a big opportunity because syllabus is going to be related to gate and you need, you have an additional one month to revise up and prepare accordingly for this particular examination. Okay, now uh, the details, how you have to apply that, you can go through it. The form, is, the fee is very nominal. Okay, it is, uh, you know, for SC, ST, PWD or women candidates, especially for women also, it is free. There is no uh, registration fee, but for general and all other aspirants, excluding this, it is 500 per application. So a nominal registration fee is here. Now coming to the very important point, it is a written examination. That is a stage one and it is OMR based. 
Okay, unlike the gate examination and now what is the pattern of the examination? It's an examination that is going to be conducted for two and a half hours. Okay, let's first talk about the technical assistant. This has 100 questions for 200 marks. That is two marks per question and there will be negative marking also. There will be a negative marking of 0.5 for each wrong answer. And of course, if you don't attempt, it's going to be zero marks. Out of those 100 questions, 80 are your technical if you select computer science, you get the technical questions of that particular discipline. If you select electronics and communication, you get 80 questions of your particular discipline and 20 questions are mental ability and reasoning. And that also you prepare with the, you know, your gate and engineering services preparation. Okay. If you come to the aviator two post, there is again the same pattern, 100 marks, 200 questions. That is two marks each and there is negative marking again. 20 questions of mental ability and reasoning will be there as well. But other than that, you have 80 questions related to the aviation technology field. Okay. The duration is again two and a half hours. This is in the afternoon shift and the technical assistant paper is going to be in the morning shift. So they are going to be in the same day. Both the post exam will be conducted on the same particular day. Now they mentioned broad topics for the written examination is available at recruit.nd, recruitndl.nilit.gov.in because Nilit is conducting this examination on behalf of NTRO. But I've gone through this and there is no uh, syllabus as of now mentioned. Yeah, maybe there is some update, there is some uh, problem with the website right now, right? If we get that, definitely I will bring you a video on that. But we can relate that it's going to be more or less gay type of topics only. Okay, then the stage two is of 50 marks, whether it is the aviator two post or the technical assistant post and that compromises of 50 marks. So total 150 marks. And now how there will be the selection of interview. Okay, only those who qualify the stage one will go to interview undoubtedly, but in the ratio of, okay, they've mentioned somewhere in the ratio of one is to three and interviews only in New Delhi. Interview is only in New Delhi. Yes. Okay, so you'll be called up in the ratio of one is to three. Now, so for example, uh, technical assistant ki baat kare. So there are around 80 posts for electronics and 80 for computer science, nearly 80. So around into three kar de to 240. That means if you are in the top 240 candidates of written, you'll be called up for the interview. You'll be called up for the interview, right? And yeah, there is a minimum qualifying marks in stage one. That is 40% for unreserved, 35% for OBC, EWS and 30% for the other categories. Now, out of the 50 marks of stage two, that is interview, minimum qualifying marks will be 40%, will be 40 percentage. That is 20 marks you need to get from here as well and 30 marks for reserved category. Okay. So this is also one uh, clearly specified data. Okay. So guys, uh, all this is, uh, that is okay. So just be ready for this particular examination. Do not forget to fill up the form. The application start 31st of December and it is going to end on 21st of January. The written exam tentatively is 5th of March. That is one month later than the gate examination. So you can, you know, parallelly target this. Now parallelly means what? Right now you have to just focus only on the gate because once again, let me show you that the syllabus, I'll just assure you that it's going to be around gate only and the mental ability and reasoning also you prepare for gate. So you just focus on the gate, be even more serious because whatever opportunity you have with the gate, that is still there. Okay, that MTech and PSU, so many PSUs are already there. But other than that, other than that, separate vacancy, especially for electronics and communication, you get as an extra benefit. Okay, and what we what you can do is once the gate examination is over, okay, you can just keep revising for this particular examination as well. Again, I tell the syllabus is going to be related to get, but as they specify broad topics will be available on this website. So whenever the website is again operational or whenever I get the update from this, I'll definitely share you those topics as well. And we'll see uh, how their topics they have given, right? Okay, guys, this is Rakesh Talreja signing off. Once again, congratulations for getting these many opportunities. These are just boost up and motivation so that you prepare more and more hard because one single gate preparation either can take you direct to PSUs or these or something like these government organizations. Even if it is a written examination, it's a plus point for you because you never know. You may perform very good in gate or sometimes you have prepared good, but that particular date didn't click. So you have multiple opportunities in hand. Keep preparing, hard work always pays off and you are going to get successful in some particular department, right? Bye-bye, all the very best.